Thank you for coming back. Game of life for my new people that's coming out. I'm your host, The Real OG. It's a two-part series that we're coming back on. Uh, the show, if you're just tuning in, it's the game of life. This is where uh, things get real. We talk about the community and topics inside the community. Uh, trying to reach happiness, health, wealth, and happiness in today's uh, society and to our um, viewers. Getting back onto the topic of um, finding a reason and options. What is the options in life? You know what I'm saying? The um, things that we had points that we had hit on and the last one would be about education, the poverty, um, the aid, the, the earning, the wage earnings, uh, and unemployment. Um, and it, as you, if you've been following, you can see that these, these things are, are very real within the sphere of the black community being bogged down, you know what I'm saying? And more of it is, you know, economics and having a positive spirit because that positive spirit is kind of gone um when you don't have proper economics within the community you can't do certain things like i said the, a lot of the third world countries have a lot of big things against them the worst thing is if you're sitting here in front of somebody eating a nice big ass meal in front of you day in and day out day in and day out day in and day out and all you got is bread and water you know you're gonna feel some kind of way you may even try to attack them you know what i'm saying and get you some of that food you know what i mean we don't want to be in that that mind that mindset you know what i'm saying we want to be able to get out here and be able to build our wealth and 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 spirit mentally and physically you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of mental health going on out here in the world and um you got to be mindful of that so i'm just trying to lay things out so we can be able to come up with answers for a lot of these problems that we have out here now you all out there y'all make sure y'all hitting those likes those shares the notification hitting the subs and follows you know what i'm saying please go out there and support us if you seeing it on the network you want to catch up or you want to let somebody else know please let them know come on out here and see the show or go out there on uh youtube you can find us under uh sundial networks that's s-u-n-d-i-a-l networks and that's where you can find us at under the uh, youtube you can find us on facebook at tv show game of life or the real og um now get back to the topics, you know, what is optional in life and um I mean life and death is going to come and we're going to have that's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? But getting yourself in a mindset and understanding what you're up against when you're out here in the world, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, we hit on the education and you know how that's going to put you somewhere um being able to understand that the, the poverty that, that's out there and getting out of a poverty mindset is just simply getting some something that you know. We talked about that in several of our um, shows, you know what I'm saying? When you don't know something, you just don't know it. So you got to get out here. That's an education. I mean, you can always go out there every day, seek knowledge, and know something that you didn't know the day before. It's too accessible out here, especially if you're here listening to this show right now today, that means you 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 tapping into something you you seeing it on the internet or something and that that box that you have whether it's that phone you got access to it you just gotta know what you're looking for and be putting yourself in that mindset to be looking for those things that's gonna advance you and your family you know and we're here just trying to build up this community so getting into the um. The next ones, you know what I'm saying, is uh the life expect life expectancy. 
of uh, our people. You know what I'm saying? And these are some of the things that's, you know, working against us, as I said, you know, the education, the poverty, um, naturally the earnings and income that you're based upon and being unemployed. You know what I'm saying? So we have, that's why I'm saying we have to see that these businesses we need to build. We need to be building our communities and controlling our communities. You know what I'm saying? And that's through government and learning how the politics work and understanding what to be asking for in our communities. If you're controlling your community, then you should be having those jobs within that community. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like when we see all these you know, mass killings and different things going on. If you're in control of your community, then these things ain't happening to yourself. You know what I'm saying? But we have a lot of um, killings we know within the black community, the black on black crimes as they speak of, you know what I'm saying? And Every other population has their situation. I remember Italian dude, he said, that's the funniest thing. It's like, because within my community, it's always some Italian killing another Italian, you know what I'm saying? Or a white man killing another white man the majority of the time. He said, but it's so highlighted in the black community as if these things aren't happening in these other communities, you know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, we living in a, a glorified situation, especially within our community, of you know being a tough guy, being macho, and all these things, and today society is pushing it off on you know whether it's testosterone and this that and other. Yeah, okay, that's masculinity, and then they taking masculinity as being something else and putting it in a whole nother sphere. You know, if you deranged in your mind, that is not masculinity. You know what I'm saying? Beating up your woman is not masculinity. You know what I'm saying? Masculinity is, you know, having a way and wanting to be in control of your spear and taking control of your spear, you know what I'm saying? And having a reason and the end goal of how you get into that situation. Same thing with feminicity. I mean, they say feminine, they got the black woman feminine as being like a lot of these rap things is being bitchy and irritating and everything else, you know what I'm saying? And I'm this, da, 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 da. No, this is not good for our community. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to say I had to stop some people who was some church people who was like, well, they shouldn't this, that, and other, on and on and on. And I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with a beautiful woman looking beautiful and wanting to, you know, kind of show what she working with because she only going to have this beauty for so long. You know what I mean? And she needs to be showcasing this and showing what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? But we got to raise our people up in a different mindset. Now, like I said, let me get back because I can definitely ramble on and get into other topics, you know what I'm saying, and mindsets because we got so many things that we need to be working on, so we need to have a good list of, you know, where to start, you know what I'm saying. Now, in general, as far as the life expectancy, um, we know our young men in comparison to other groups here in America is... Um, it's rough on the black man out here, you know, in the black community, even our black women, you know, are dying much earlier. And it's sad to see, you know, dying at such a young age. But on average, the um, black man dies six to nine years sooner than the average white man dies. So, I mean, we got some that's getting old, but even those that are getting older, you know, you got your average, you know, white male, you know, reaching that 70, 80 years old, and most black men are dying, you know, in their 60s, you know, 65. It's like you getting old, you know what I'm saying? So bless those that, you know, reach the 80s and 90s, and but we got to be in that mindset that you can. Like That's what my show, and we out here preaching here in the game of life, is having good health, wealth, and happiness, you know, and it starts with that health. If You know, if you have longevity within that then you will have something to leave your family so getting in that proper headspace of uh, a reason why you want to be being healthy um there it is you know what i'm saying the life expectancy uh we want to be trying to live long lives and being in that now one of the biggest things that really been plaguing our the black community so to speak, has been um, 
the uh, criminal justice system working against us. And uh, we've had that stat on here before, so I figured we'd pull that same one back up again. And that's about, uh, uh, right now, roughly, as of 2016, 2.3 million people were incarcerated in the United States at a rate of 698 per 100,000. Total incarcerated peaked in 2008. Uh, correctional population, prison, jail population, probation, parole peaked in 2007. And current, well, currently is around 2, 2 million, 1, 1. 1.9 to 2.1 million. But in 2016, it was 2.3 million people that were incarcerated. Um, and the majority of those were black people in those prison. A black man is 35% more likely, 35% of his lifetime to be in prison, jail, incarcerated. And the white man is 6% chance of him having that. That's a huge factor when you look at that. You know what I'm saying? When you say 35% of black men um, have that chance of being incarcerated versus, you know, a 5% chance. And then they say it's 6, 32, but blacks, they say it's 32, 35. But that's seven times. That's seven times. Black men are overall represented among prison population by a factor of 35% to the white counterpart, 5%. These are the stats here from, from 1950, but you don't see this on this chart. It don't go up till, you know, in the 70s going into the 80s when we had the mass incarceration rate that hit the black um, community. Now, way back from the 50s all the way up to the 80s, it only had a population of around 200,000 inmates, you know, going into those 30, 40 years, you know what I'm saying? And this is how you devastate a community is, hey, you clip them legs like that, you take the black males out that are young, because most of these guys, they, they going in here and they getting astronomical sentences these days that they've been passing out. Now, we got to hold um, the administrations out here and the people that are supposed to be the lawmakers, and we see a lot of change there, but we're getting a lot of symbolic change. You know what I'm saying? We got to get this thing in gear and into a fast, ramped up pace um, to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go from 200,000 to 2 million, you know what I'm saying? That's 10 times, you know what I'm saying? And when we seven times more likely to be affected by a situation, uh, that that that's 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 not good, and 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 that other staggering stat that I was telling y'all I wanted to present um, to you is um, the population. You know, we only make up 13, 15 percent of the population. So we taking these stats. You know, when you saying that thirty five percent. Of 40, you know, we make the black population makes up 44.1 million people in 2020. The white population makes up 234.3 million people as of 2020. Now, when you're saying 35% of the 44, and you're saying, you know, 5, 6% of 234. Yeah, their number's going to go up because the 6% is a larger number. But when we still outpacing you, when you're saying 234 million people versus 44 million, and you said 35% of this 44 million, and you're saying 6% of this 234, we need to step back and really absorb what the hell I just said here. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't like... Oh, this is something else. No, this is real. These are real people locked up. People. You know what I mean? They getting locked up for astronomical sentences for stuff that uh, other parts of the population get slaps on the wrist for. So you can stop it 
at the lower level when the police come roll up, they can evaluate the situation and let it go, or they can go on the Senate. I had a, um, a speech that I wrote way back when I was younger, and it was to the black population, and it was because I was caught into that cycle, you know what I'm saying? But I've always been a thinker, and I've seen the situation, like I've said before, being able to take those feelings off. You got to be able to take that feeling off, your emotions out of the situation, put them over here for a moment, and look at the situation for what it is. And, 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 and my speech that I had wrote, it was, you know, dear black community, dear black man, this ain't personal. It ain't that we don't like you, you know, don't care for you. But we got a job we got to do. We got people that's going, getting education. We got judges. We got lawyers. We got probation officers. We got police officers. And they got to have a reason. So they're going to make you that reason. Because this judge, this lawyer, this attorney, these all these things, the system that's built. When you go from 200,000 to 2 million, that's going to be a lot of employment there to watch over these people. That's going to be a lot of laws and different stuff going to get passed because now we, we got a reason. We got a reason. You know, we got we got to re, we got to rebuild some stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it personal. And, 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 and But we, the black community, have to take this personal. You should be taking this personal. You need to take this in and really be thinking about it. And if you out there, another nationality, you I, I mean, I know you looking at the lens, our the black community, you got to be able to step back in them other people's shoes. And they saying, oh, it must be okay because they ain't doing nothing. They ain't rising up. They ain't saying nothing. They ain't, you know, I'm talking about a real march that's saying, okay, we got to come together and we got to vote this stuff out of here. You know what I'm saying? You have power. If you think you're powerless, guess what? You're going to be powerless. If you feel that you can't do something, guess what? You can't do it. You got to get out that mindset and get it in gear. You know what I'm saying? And, and harness what I said here. When I'm saying 44 million people, 234 million, and that 44 million, 35 percent, more likely, seven times more likely to wind up in the prison system. And our black women are getting, you know, incarcerated at a super high rate, where before then that was not there. It was super small in the population of women being in prison. And the black women making up that prison population. It's just astronomical with the black men are making up with that prison population. And, and, and back when they stopped slavery in 1800s, they didn't take that off the book. A slave treatment, slave labor, being in the prison system. And that's when you seen that still going on. It's still on there today. You can't tell me it's not. Wake up. Wake up and look at the reality. Um, and something need to be done quickly, you know what I'm saying? Because we losing out. We losing out on our communities, you know what I'm saying? But we got to get a new mindset of, you know, doing diversity, making businesses, being aware of that we can control our community, that we can, you know, make the new normal for our community because our normal right now is dysfunction within our community. We don't have control. We don't have power within our community. So we need to start doing that. And the law of the mind once you say something, you can conceive it, then you can achieve it. So you have to get in your mind that I am and I can. So we have to lose those negative spirits. You have um, other laws out there, and that's of consciousness, and that's the state of. That's when you're okay with the state of. That's the consciousness. But you have to become aware, and that's a law also. And when you're aware there's something and you say, okay, I'm aware that this is the norm, and you will start accepting that this is the norm, then um, that becomes 
a real option that dwells down in your conscious spirit. So we got to lose that thought. A slave is someone who someone else operates. His or her mind. The black community, you got to harness that. We the ADOS, American Descendants of Slaves, own that title. It's okay. It happened. You know what I'm saying? Don't be acting like it didn't. And you owed for that. You know what I'm saying? And you say, well, what do you mean? I mean, just go look up to other people that's done got their reparations. So we can work on that, but we got to work on what's going on now. Because you can't expect your oppressor to, to bring you out of this. You It's going to be all about a community coming in, getting together, and harnessing themselves, getting control of their community, you know. And, I mean, I may catch some back slack from this, you know, that's coming out and being so direct about it, you know what I mean? But, hey, if I got my people with me, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? They can't stop a nation of millions, you know what I'm saying, that's together. And God Almighty knows, you know what I'm saying, we've, we've been through some as a community. Um, we've lost our way, but this is how we bring it back. It's a beautiful thing, a new era, a new time that we're in. Imagine that. I'm here touching you and reaching out, getting these spirits, and I'm trying to give it back so it can come back to me, you know. I'm hopeful and mindful that we can do it and we can accomplish it, but we have to do it together. We have to support one another. So I need y'all to get behind what we're doing here and those other people that's out there doing their things and be on one accord, you know what I'm saying? And be supportive and be supportive within your community, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay. It starts with you out there. It starts with you, you know what I'm saying? And you say, oh, it's just one. But if I'm talking to thousands or hundreds of thousands of people and all those ones understand what they're supposed to do and what they can do, then that's a hundred thousand people or that's a thousand people or that's a hundred people, whatever it is, it's more than one. We need each one of us to do what we need you to do. You know what I'm saying? If I spoke before, I don't know everybody, but I know somebody who knows somebody like you know somebody and we know somebody, somebody, somebody's, then we know everybody. So we can get there. So um, understand that. And take that in, in, into your mind and your spirit. A slave is someone who someone else operates. Don't be a slave. Get them chains off your brain, you know what I'm saying? Because the powers that be... <laughs> That small society that I talked about before that controls the world, it's a small unit of people that's controlling the world. And they took the, they took the chains off the black slaves here in the United States and they put them on basically the whole community. But they said, okay, this is going to be the first class, this is going to be a second class, it's going to be third. And you can get to this if you can get your mind together. But we're going to give this set of group of people a head start, a jump, and some extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, these they're going to have to figure it out and fend for themselves. And we're going to put these staggering blocks in front of them and hurdles. And it's real. It's no denying it. And anybody that, that wants to challenge it and, and, and dispute it, you know what I'm saying? Go do your homework. This stuff ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? You pull it up. Boom, boom, boom. If you want to find something and... and and understand something else that you want to believe, you can find that too, you know what I'm saying? Um, but back to uh, just getting us there. Like I said, this is a two-part series, so want to stay on point. That's about the education, the poverty, earnings, income, life expectancy, and um, the criminal justice um, incarceration. So we got to get off of those old ways of doing things, get our mind in gear, understand that, get the law of I am and I can within you. Harness that, you know what I'm saying? Take those chains off your brain, get your brain off autopilot and get it in gear. Get to moving and, and understanding the, the greatness that you can be. Let's start giving our kids and our communities 
the love that they need. You know what I'm saying? Start being a part of the community um, and start demanding, you know, that we be back that excellence that we once were. You know, we were, were we've been leaders and we, uh, we have leaders out there still, you know what I'm saying? And I, I love that young spirit, you know what I'm saying, that's out there. But we got to get off of doing those old things that we've been doing, those, you know, little marches and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? The way I call them parades because a lot of time nothing come out of it, you know what I mean? So you just went out there, got riled up and went on home and they gave you something that's, you know, meaningless really because they ain't giving you no money and they ain't giving you no real justice. And we'll talk about that on a, on a whole nother topic, you know what I'm saying? But take all that in, take them notes in. They gave me my one minute warning, said we got to get on out of here. Um, I don't know if I did my Sundial Network deal, but y'all make sure y'all go out there, y'all check out Sundial Networks, S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. Y'all check out high D-H-I-G-H-D dot TV. Y'all go out there and check that out. Y'all check us out on Facebook. Y'all be supporting um, my haters. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all give y'all haters some love. Um, y'all hit the likes, share, notifications subs and the follows y'all be healthy y'all make sure you're out there drinking your water and getting that mind and that spirit together you know what i'm saying we got to be a, a family in our community when i come to your town i want to feel that spirit there y'all make sure i'm feeling it there you know what i'm saying when i bring my crew and y'all on this journey now y'all gonna see it there's big things coming your way and it's no reason you can't be a part of it you know what i'm saying but uh game of life y'all be out there being great Y'all come on back. I love y'all. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band and also featuring tomorrow's future talent and star. Only on Sundial Networks. Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the live bands, open mic talent, we have a treat for you. Only on Sundial Networks. Every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the Flint area, please come to see the live tape at Blackstone, downtown Flint, every Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup, what happened to that one hit wonder? The battle, new versus old. Top 100 countdown, old school mixer, slow jam, sundial so Put us in your browser, S U N T I A L dot TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out, high D dot TV. That's H I G H D dot TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup, top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.